This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Cam Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna test the matrix light in the Tesla Model Y. So I tested the matrix light in early version in the Highland. I wasn't too impressed of how well, how strong or how weak the light were. Here it is a lot stronger. We have supposedly the Hella lights, and uh, let's check the version on the car, and then we're gonna go test somewhere and see how the matrix works. Okay, so we are on software version 2024 20.7 and then there's a new update 2024 20.9 but then when I google about this that's just minor fixes so what is important is that here in light we have adaptive headlight that we have enabled oh uh, there so let's test it okay interesting now the high beam is active it's blue uh, even with, when we have street lights and then it hopefully blocks the front, yeah, the car in front. Mm. Let's uh, get over to the dark side. Oh, no, okay, now high beam is off. You know what? I can just uh, follow behind the Mercedes. Wait for the high beam to come on. There. Yeah, okay, so now let me check something here. Uh, if I move, you can see the elements working. Okay, this is way more uh, powerful than the Highland lights. Get a little bit closer, see what happens. But I can see the elements, it's not high, super high resolution. And then see it against the trees in the background there. You see that, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so I don't wanna go too much back and forth. And then wood up here is our, if I'm blinking towards them. But I uh, haven't seen any oncoming traffic yet. So, uh, what do I think about these lights? Well, compared to uh, pixel lights from Polestar or digital lights from Mercedes, uh, yeah, Mercedes EQS, then at least they have somewhat low resolution, but at least the strength and the spread is very good. Okay, there, oncoming traffic. Oh, blocks it out nicely. Okay, we need more of that. These stretchers have okay traffic. To show you what happens now, well, yeah, it's easier if I move slightly left and forward so you can see where the where my high beams are pointing towards. But let's see, ongoing traffic. Maybe I should slow down a bit so I can distinguish more about what's going on. Okay, let's speed up. Wait, hmm. Oh, and then it fires up on the left side. Okay, yeah, similar to what I've seen in other cars. Let's see here. We also have stationary light. I want to see what happens with the stationary. Uh, will it, uh, like, uh, will it uh, detect it as, uh, as an, a car? It shines quite nice and white on the right here, see? Huh, it seems like it blasts right towards the stationary light. Did he know it or was it just a coincidence that it did that? Okay, high beam still on. You see here, shining up on the left and right side of the car. We are now on the motorway with street lights and uh, the high beam is actually on right now. Uh, let's see what happens towards oncoming traffic. Okay, there it dipped down, but still on. So it lights up on the side of the road, lights up the big signs also. Okay, here we come to a, a really big sign. I see that it lights it up. But it also seems like it does some uh, matrix towards the sign. Let's see if I move the uh, slightly. Wait, okay. And there it. Sometimes it dips down, but still uh, I can see on the on the screen that uh, it's blue, so it's still high beam. Let's see. We need more oncoming traffic, but it's a bit late at night. No, no, what the heck? Slow down for some reason. Okay, speed up again. There, oncoming traffic. There, deep down towards it. Firmly, I want to try to go against some trucks. But uh, yeah, you see, I can see that it um, blocks out the oncoming traffic. But it, it is even active now when we have street lights. Yeah, it's lighting up on the side of the road. So this is very nice in case the street light is not uh, sufficient. And this
least I haven't been blinked at yet with uh, well previous gen before they activated the um, the matrix stuff then I would get blinked at all the time because uh, the stupid auto high beam would uh, where well, was it on off back then it would fire up the high beam on when we had street light and it will blind oncoming traffic so they flash at me well oncoming traffic there it turns down, alright. Blocks out uh, parts. And after the truck is passed. Oh, wait, it doesn't fire up on the left side. It doesn't seem like it. You can see clearly on the right side, it lights up the, yeah, the uh, hill there. Oh, there, there, okay, now I see it. Yeah, okay, now it fire up full. Right, it's doing a good job. Oh, there's a big block in the middle here, it could have lit up, but uh, okay, maybe they just have quite big margins, just like we're seeing on the smaller roads. But it seems like here the margin is even bigger. Okay, on the truck is gonna notice it there. Okay, I think it uh, turns down early enough at least. Now, this is interesting. I'm on a ramp, and uh, there will be a car coming from the right soon. You will see how it blocks out. I mean, it's not a normal uh, scenario. Look at that, look at that. It's quite fast to, to block out the lights. Let's see if you have light in between the two trucks now. Yep, yep, there you go. Nicely done. Let me just hug the left lane and see what happens here. So it just blocks out the second truck here. But, oh yeah, okay, it also lights up the left side here. Yeah, some cars I've seen, uh, the matrix light, they just, it detects that we are on motorway and then doesn't light up the left side at all, only the right side. I wonder if it was the German cars, I don't remember. Okay, oncoming truck, oh, okay, it blocks out, oh, ooh, that was quick, it uh, turned down the light quite early. Uh, if this was a fat e-tron, it would turn down really late until uh, I get uh, flashed at. It seems like, uh, not sure if he used any manual headlight, but uh, this car reacted instantly, whereas the truck uh, needed some time to turn down the light. I bet it was manual. Okay, now we tested now several scenarios. So I have to say, um, yeah, the matrix light uh, does a pretty good job of blocking out without blinding too much, uh, but I feel like it could have uh, made the square slightly smaller, you know? Uh, but it's a good start, yeah, so finally we have proper headlights in Tesla also. Hey, what? High beam is on, you can see it lights up the rails there, on the side. Huh. <laughs> Seems like, yeah, it just wants to light up as much as possible. Yeah, and then also you can see probably, yeah, the, the big signs by the road now, they are quite uh, reflected. And then it, oh, turned down the light, okay. But yeah, so uh, overall pretty good. And compared to the Highland I tested, well the Highland just had some somewhat weak headlights. Here we have proper strong headlights. So um, yeah, awesome. And uh, what is so awesome about this is that uh, suddenly a whole bunch of Teslas from uh, around 2022, I think, or late 2021, it started with the Model 3 performance. Uh, Back, several years back now, suddenly a whole bunch of Teslas, they will get the matrix light, just, yeah, software update, and there you go, there you have it, yeah. Thank you, Elon Musk. So, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.